Two, three. Four, two. survival and last night's video I had a, a few comments I'd like to talk about um, a few questions people had one of those being you know obviously World War three the way the the scenario is looking with our uh, country and our country being involved in uh, for various foreign affairs and possibly escalating like like I said to World War three and so the the questions were were um, one, I'll quickly answer the first one. The, the, the gentleman asked me, would I be subject to recall? No, I did eight active years. Okay, so after eight active years, you, you should not be recalled. Like, I did active duty for eight years, and uh, so, no, I should not be recalled. And I've also been out of the military for 18 years <laughs> by some old, older guy. Um, so, I shouldn't be, you know. Now, the thing is, is if it gets in a catastrophic loss of life where, you know, the, the, the country's down to nothing, they would probably get any able-bodied male, um, to be honest with you. They, that's how it would go. That's how it has happened in other countries. When they get in that type of situation, it comes down to any able-bodied male. So whether you have military experience or not, and, you know, when you're trying to obviously preserve your country, to the last and final straw that would be the case but the thing is is for me is that like you know the old adage um so going going along the next guy's question sorry before i get into the old adage but the next guy's question was saying old salts like guys like us would um would, would i want to go fight and the the answer would be a strong negative because this is the thing, like the old adage says that weak men create hard times. And that's where we got hard times. Look, we, we know what happened in 2020. We know that Biden's installed. We know that he's weak. He's, he's a puppet if he's even still alive. And I say that jokingly, but there's obviously, there's some questions there. There's, there, there's, there's very differences in appearance. And people will say, oh, it's because of plastic surgery. Why is the 80-something-year-old man getting plastic surgery? Is he that vain? They, they talk about Trump being vain. Is he that vain? He's getting lip fillers, ears sewn to the type of uh, side of his neck. I mean, th these sort of things. Like, it's just it's just not normal. So it, it begs the questions to be asked. Um, but the thing is, weak men create hard times. So the other thing is the feminization of, of, of man just in general. You look at the push, and I'm on opinion on why they're pushing the, the LGBT movement amongst everyone, including children, um, and I think that the, the, the feminizing of men, there's, there's multiple fronts on why they're doing that. But when you have weak men, it creates hard times. And so going back to the question, would I go fight on foreign soil for something that I have nothing to do with? Absolutely freaking no, not even a chance. I wouldn't care if they said that I was going to go to jail if I, if I did not go, right? I, I would not care because this is the thing, the Ukraine is not my fight. I have nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with U.S. security. And they can just try to spin it however they want, saying Russia is trying to take over the world and that um, all we have to stop Russia and they're going to, the fight's going to be here. It's not true. I don't believe that whatsoever. The only reason why the fight would be here is because you bring it here. You're fighting them in a proxy war that could lead them to want to attack America, right? Then, then getting involved in other, uh, like, like Israel and this... I mean, that Israel can handle themselves in this situation. I'm not saying we, we, we uh, you know, obviously turn our back um, on them, but the thing is, is that, you know, they're they're putting these other troops here because of the attacks on Al, Al Assad Air Base and stuff like that. Syria, why do we have troops here anyway? You're putting troops in in danger. So by putting them in danger, then they get attacked, and then all of a sudden we're thrusting them in some kind of World War Three. Look, look, is is Al Assad Air Base or any of these other things? detrimental to my friends or family anybody that i know or uh, america in general no so why would i go put myself and and get myself killed off for something i have nothing to do with right look i watched you know growing up i grew up as an 80s kid so all the commandos rambos and stuff like that and then uh you know the the full metal jackets the um born on the fourth of july like i believed all the i drank all the kool-aid i believed it all and and as i've gotten older 
I realized that a lot of us were just pawns for globalists, warmongers, people that make money off of us, putting our lives at risk. I got friends that are missing eyes and appendages. For what? For what? I've got guys that, that, that didn't make it home and some other man is raising their kids. Who's going to take care of your family if you get killed, right? In my opinion, to, to every American right now, this country's went down, downward spiral. And I don't, uh, the Biden admin, everything they're pushing, do, is that something that I want to defend? No. No. Do I want to be defending the trans flag? No. No. Not, this is, this is not, not the stuff that, uh, that, you know, like you say, the star strikes out the pine So that's, that's not what this is anymore. And so the thing is, is that like my opinion, and, and I think a lot of Americans will resonate with me is that you defend your piece of soul, you defend your piece of land, you take care of your family, you defend your family. And that's where I stand on, on that. So anyone asking what I go and, and you can say whatever you want to about me, but uh, look, I didn't, I didn't serve my time and I got out with all my eyes and, and appendages. And like I said, a lot of my friends didn't. So um, I'm not going to put myself in some kind of situation where I may not come back and, and, and my family don't have anyone to provide for them because of freaking weak men putting us in hard times. And I just wanted to, because I know a lot of people are thinking that a lot of people are, a lot of young men hit me about joining the military right now. And look, I'm not going to deter you from anything you want to do in life. That's, that's on you, man. And, and that's something that you want to do, do it. I'm, I'm all for you doing the things you want to do. I'll see you get invaluable skills and training and stuff, but you know, am I going to put myself at risk for these folks? Not a chance, not a chance. Now, if it comes here in the streets, Trust me, I'll be out, out in the streets with, with, with my bang stick, right? I'll, I'll be out there and, uh, I'll defend any, any of y'all and any of my friends and family, you know, but, uh, as far as going to some foreign soul fight for some, some, some politicians that could care less about me and they're not sending their kids there. Yeah. You, you better believe that I will not get involved with that. Anyhow, guys, I just wanted to share my opinion on this because a lot of people, like I said, ask me these sort of things and, and, uh, especially where we're at. So I just wanted to put that out there and hopefully I cleared it up. Hopefully it makes sense. And I'll let know your thoughts too. Do you feel the same way as I do? If you feel another way, uh, you know, just please drop them in the comments and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it never comes to that. But anyhow, guys, we're going to stay frosty, stay strapped and always stay dangerous. Take care.